Well, hello everyone. I'm back with a new series of videos covering chapters of Geography, Class 11, NCRT. Chapter 1 India Location In this chapter, we will read about the stretch of India. As you can see, the mainland of India extends from Kashmir to Kanyakumari in south. And then from east to west, it's Arunachal Pradesh and Gujarat. So, India's boundary extends up to 45 degree north latitude in Bay of Bengal. So, remember this. This is latitude and this is longitude this longitude and another thing to note is the measurement of india from uh, north to south is 3214 kilometers and from east to west it's 2933 kilometer another noteworthy point is distance between two longitudes decreases towards the poles and the distance between two latitudes remains the same everywhere so what it means is if this is the world map the horizontal line is the latitude and the and the vertical line is the longitude so just think about it how the longitude is coming closer near the poles okay so the longitudes come nearer to the pole and whereas the latitudes they are the same parallel everywhere they don't change and this is due to the shape of the globe so let's talk about the various zones of the earth. At 0 degree, we have the equator. At 23.5 degree north, we have Tropic of Cancer. At 23.5 degree south, we have Tropic of Capricorn. Now at 66.5 degree north, we have Arctic Circle. And at 66.5 degree south, we have Antarctic Circle. And not to forget, this is the North Pole and this is the South Pole. So the region between 23.5 degree Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn is called the Tropical Zone, TR. And the region between Tropic of Cancer in the North hemisphere and arctic circle is called temperate zone and the same below is called temperate zone as well and then anything above that near the pole area this is called frigid zone and also called polar zone so anything is same frigid polar everything is same in fact you'll be surprised to know tropical zone is also called torrid zone or equatorial zone because of the name from equator now let's understand another concept consider this consider this as sun and just have a look at the sun rays falling on earth as you can see, at the tropical zone near the equator, the sun rays are direct. And as we go up towards the poles and down towards south pole, the sun rays are getting slant. As a result, the amount of sun rays received at this region is more than the other above and bottom region. So this is a pretty cool theory to understand that the places in tropical zone will receive ample of sunshine. And as we go up and down towards the pole, the sun rays are not direct and hence the temperature is a little less warmer than compared to the tropical zone. Now India has an area of 3.28 million square kilometer. The share of land that we have when compared to world is 2.4 percent and that gives us the seventh position in the world now india is a land of great physical diversity what do you mean by that it means we have big mountains we have large rivers we have huge green forests and then we have a vast sandy desert so from examination point of view if they ask you which are the countries that form indian subcontinent they are Pakistan, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh and India itself. Now talking about Himalaya, it is a physical barrier between uh, India and China. But there are a few mountain passes in between. So the names are the Khyber and the Bolan Pass, the Shipkela, the Nathula and Bomdila. So these are some very famous and important passes that are there in Himalayas. India is a peninsula, which means we are surrounded by water from three sides. That is Arabian Sea to the west, Indian Ocean to the south and Bay of Bengal to the east. And we have a coastline of 6100 km. Now what does it mean? Suppose this is India. Here we have the water part. We are talking about this, the distance of this coastline. It is exactly 6100 km from west all the way to the south and then going to the east. This is 6100 km. And with all of this, we are a country of physical diverse land. Now let's talk about our neighbors. India is located at south central part of the continent of Asia. Remember that we are not part of Southeast Asia. We are part of South Central Asia, SCA. So let's name the countries that are neighbors of India. Starting with, we have Pakistan, we have Afghanistan, we have Nepal, then we have Bhutan, and then we have China, and then we have Bangladesh, and then we have Myanmar and Sri Lanka to the south and then Maldives. Now Sri Lanka and Maldives are the two island countries located in Indian Ocean. And Sri Lanka is separated from India by Gulf of Manar and Park Strait. So if you look at the map, if this is India and here is Sri Lanka, in between them you have water. And this region over here is Gulf of Manar and Park Strait. 
So with this, we have come to an end of chapter one. Let's answer some questions and see where we stand. Which one of the following latitudinal extent is relevant for the extent of India's area? So here they're talking about latitudinal. Latitudinal is nothing but horizontal line. And the vertical line is longitudinal. So the answer is B, 8.4 degree north to 37.6 degree north. Look at this map. This is the tip of India, okay? Here it's 8 degree north. So the tip over here will be somewhere close to here. So here it's 8.4 degree north. If you see the equator, which is over here, and this is zero. So as we go up, the number has to increase. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then comes 8, and this is 8.4. Similarly, on top, the tip over here is here, and this is 36 degree north. So if you put a straight line till here, you will find it somewhere close to 37.6. So this is the latitudinal limit of the country. Second question, which one of the following countries share the longest land frontier with India? So we are talking about the longest border shared with India. So the answer is China. Have a look at this map. So the Pakistan boundary is this much. And look at China's boundary. This is like this huge. And then these are very smaller ones. So the first one is China and then Pakistan. So the answer is China. Then which one of the following countries is larger in area than India? So remember we studied that India secured seventh rank in terms of area. The only country in this option which is ahead of us is China. Fourth question, which one of the, which one of the following longitudes is the standard meridian of India? So the answer is 82.30 degree east. And this passes through Allahabad. If you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and make sure you're subscribed, you'll get an alert when my next video comes, or if you want me to make anything specific, do let me know.